Ultimate Tank Build in collaboration with Aquamedic. Aquamedic Live is their coral uh, wholesale division. They do not sell directly to the end user. They sell to uh, the local fish stores. You can go to aquamediclive.com to see their online coral selection and then go to one of your local fish stores and order some corals from them. And so now all the corals for my tank will be 100% aquacultured or captive bred. All right, guys, so I want to get these corals um, in the tank. Uh, they did overnight them 24 hours, so they should be okay. They did frag a lot of these for me. Uh, what was great to hear is that they waited for them to heal before they shipped them. So uh, thanks, Angelo from Aquamedic. I really appreciate it. They call Angelo the Fragon Dragon. You guys see Angelo at one of the shows, call him the Fragon Dragon. Okay, so step one is for me to temperature acclimate the corals. And quick shout out to Coral Reef Junkies for uh, sponsoring the tank. Step two is for me to drip acclimate the corals. And as some of you may know, it is very important to research your corals because some corals you may want to do a slower drip acclimation or a faster drip acclimation. One of my biggest pet peeves is when I go into a local fish store and they try to push corals or fish on you that you're not familiar with. So guys, don't let them do that. Research everything that you're putting in your tank before you put it in your tank. I mentioned in a previous video that it took me about 10 to 15 minutes to place the rock. Now, it took me about one to two hours, eh, probably around two hours to place all the corals. And I'm still not done. I'm still not happy with all the placements. It's still a work in progress, but you know, it is what it is. Seven days have now passed. So let's take a look at the corals and see how they're doing. So first up on my list is my new pink and green style of porous. So this is a SPS branching coral. Care level is moderate. Lighting is medium to high and flow rate is also medium to high. And it has a peaceful temperament. And here are the recommended water conditions. As far as the origin, both green and pink star four originate in the Indo-Pacific area. However, these two particular pieces were aquacultured on coral farms on the beaches of Fiji. Okay, so this is a pink and red monopore digitata. Its type is SPS branching, care level moderate, lighting medium to high, and flow rate medium to high. So the temperament is peaceful. And here are the recommended water conditions. So the origin for the pink monopore digitata originates in the Indo-Pacific Fiji area. However, this specific digitata was aquacultured in the ocean on a coral farm in Indonesia. These are by far probably my favorite corals currently in the tank right now, which is the green hairy mushroom. And type is a soft mushroom coral. And for those of you that don't know, soft corals are by far my favorite. If it wasn't for you guys, and I know that you guys love SPS corals, I would just fill my tank with softies. All right, so the care level is easy, lighting is low to medium, and flow rate is medium. The temperament is semi-aggressive. And here are the water conditions. All right, so the origin for this coral originates from the Indo-Pacific area. However, this particular piece was captive grown in a home aquarium that is taken care of by one of Aquamedic's local service companies called Underwater Wonders. Okay, everybody stop. Chalice time. This is the Aquamedic Live Starry Night Chalice. Type is LPS, care level moderate, lighting low to medium, flow rate medium. Temperament is semi-aggressive. I haven't seen them yet, but they do have sweeper tentacles at night. This species can be found on several reefs throughout the world. So now this specific piece was grown in Angelo's 120 gallon aquarium. Thanks a lot, Angelo. So this is another coral that I want to move and just deciding where to put it. And I just thought, hey, you know, I'm just going to leave it here for right now. So this is the bright red chalice. Its type is LPS, care level moderate, lighting low to medium, flow rate medium. Temperament, semi-aggressive. And here are the recommended water conditions. Origin, this species can be found on several reefs throughout the world. However, this particular coloration comes from the reefs of Australia. This specific piece was grown in Angelo's 120 gallon aquarium. 
So I have about three red and green Undata plating monopora. Type, SPS plating. Care level, moderate. Lighting, medium to high. Flow rate, medium to high. Temperament, peaceful. Um, on this green one right here, um, that is a piece of algae, a little algae string that I have to uh, cut off. Uh, so here are the recommended water conditions. As for the origin, uh, this species can be found on several reefs throughout the world, including Fiji, Indonesia, and Australia. This specific piece was grown in Angelo's 120 gallon aquarium. <laughs> Thanks again and again, Angelo. These are my two ultra bicolor A cans. Type is LPS, care level moderate, lighting low to medium, flow rate low to medium, and temperament semi-aggressive and here are the recommended water conditions corals aren't the only thing that i put in my tank uh, this week i did uh, buy a bunch of inverts uh, some turbo snails and blue lake hermit crabs but i did buy one snail that is my favorite by far and you'll see why Tank build in collaboration with Aquamedic.